Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick unboxing video of the recent game I, I purchased, and it's wrestling related. Uh, so I, I purchased the Downey Games uh, TV Pro Wrestling 2 presented in color. Uh, they had a sale Black Friday weekend. Uh, I think most of the games were like 15-20% off, so I decided to, to purchase this. I haven't heard, I haven't like read much about it. There's not much videos on YouTube about people playing it. Um, so I know I was taking a risk because I, you know, there's a chance I might not like it. I've been playing the Phil Sinjury games, uh, wrestling game, which has been, been, been having a lot of fun with that. Um, but it can be, it can get repetitive at times. And I wish there was more that you can do. I wish there was more charts that you can, you can use in the game. Um, so it can, it can get, it can come, become a little bit like repetitive. So I was like looking in the market for you know maybe another wrestling game that's out there. And what's cool about Downey Games is they actually use real wrestlers. So it's not like a fictional set, which is you know which I wanted. Um, so I guess the the standard with these uh, Downey Games, uh, you get like this folder, to keep everything in there. This took a long time to get to my house. I know there's there's an issue with uh, the post office. Everything's being backed up. Um, but it took a it took a really long time, and of course there was an issue, which I'll explain later. Uh, so, so I'll go through everything that you get. And so you get the the rule book right here. Gives you like you know uh, how to play the game. Gives you like instructions of what the cards mean. Uh, you get a lot of charts. Uh, so I guess with like most Downey games, uh, a lot of his games are like chart heavy. Uh, so, which I don't mind. I mean, so you get you you get this this chart right here. This is the uh, the foreign object chart, uh, which I think was lacking in like Fissinger games. Is like you have that the same charts, uh, so it could, it could get like you know get redundant. Uh, so this is this is interesting. You know, different different charts that you have here. Uh, this is the, an event chart he, right here. So I guess you're, I guess throughout the game something happens where you have to roll on. It'll ask you to roll on on this on, on these charts. Uh, you get the in match chart. You get uh, the post match chart. So this is really pretty cool when if you have if you have your federation, how to like maybe like different like storylines can can result from 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 these charts. Wild event chart. We got it right there. Oh, another uh, in match chart. So you get another one of those. Uh, and then you get like I guess this is um, like a, I don't know if you call it like a game mat. This is like kind of like yeah, the paper's not that bad, um, but you got to be careful because you know it's not nothing's laminated or anything. Uh, so I'm assuming this is kind of like you would put the, like, the face wrestles card on there, and this is like a tracker throughout. I guess when you're playing, you could track like it's like you know I guess you got, you use like a uh, uh, something to, like a marker or something the track you know you know you, the, the pin ratings uh, DQ and and they also have one for the uh, the heel wrestler so you got one right there so I guess you'll have those these two boards on the you know on your game on your table and, and you, you go from there they also you also includes I guess these are like Wrestling, uh, I guess, like the score sheets uh, that you can use to track. So you're included. So there's like singles, and then there's one for like tag teams. Uh, yeah. uh, it also includes the, uh, I guess, the original game, TV Pro Wrestling. I guess this is what the game was based on. So you also get that. Um, so the expansion that I bought, I bought the, uh, the, the expansion 6, which features the NWO. Uh, and this this thing just goes over like everybody that's been in the NWO, every like different incarnations of the NWO. So you see which wrestlers were, were part of it. Look at the original NWO. Look how many people were in the NWO. So it gives you gives you like it's pretty cool. It gives you like the date when they joined the NWO, and uh, and like when they left the NWO. Like Louis Piccoli, they mentioned he you know, when he died. Uh, and explain, yeah, it actually explains when, when they left the end of it, which is pretty cool. So you get the whole history of the end of all the members all going all the way up to end of WWE at the end. And you'll see, like, um, so let's go through the cards. Uh, also, it comes with, like, he gave me, like, these dice right here. Uh, 
play the game. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use those. So these are what the cards look like. So unlike, you know, Fist Injury games, which are the best cards, you're not going to get, like, pictures of the wrestlers. So you, you just get basically, this kind of, like, reminds you of, like, kind of, like, um, Strat. It's definitely, like, definitely, like, definitely reminds you of Stratomatic Baseball, the cards. So this is this is what the cards look like. This is Randy Savage. Uh, so you can see, like, he has different, like, ratings, and then he has, like, uh, like, finishing moves on there. So I'm like, like, this injury game, sorry, I'm comparing it to this injury game, so that's the only wrestling game I, I play, dice game, uh, where the, the the holds are on the card, the wrestler's cards. Uh, this one, is, it's, it's not, you just only get their finishers. There's a separate card that you go by. I'll, I'll show that to you later. Um, so, uh, sorry about the glare. So this is Randy Savage's card. So, you know, you get like a lot of the NWO, you get like, here's Conan, uh, X Pac, sorry, the Giant, Right Thunder, uh, Scott Steiner. So you can actually double cards sometimes, and and so depending on on if they were in the NWO in different carnations, you get both their cards. Like if they were in the Wolf Pack or the original NWO, you'll get two cards, which is I don't understand. So this is when 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 Scott Steiner first uh turned heel he was called white thunder you got uh kevin nash of course you're gonna get scott hall uh kurt henning uh, hollywood hulk hogan so i'm not gonna go through all the cards but that that's what the single cards look like um you also get like these are what uh you also get referees. So in this in this uh, game, uh, I guess the referees are are incorporated in there. So you get Nick Patrick and Mark Johnson. You also can have an ally or a manager at, at ringside. So you have different cards for them. So you have Tori Wilson. Um, you can have like just something. This is just basically just an NWO ally. I guess you can whoever that can be. You know, uh, Eric Bischoff. So again, you go through all. I guess like rolling the dice it determines or how they what, what they do in in the game. Um, so you get like you know quite a few like allies. You know Teddy Biasi, Miss Elizabeth, um, Vincent, and these are what the tag team cards look like. So you just this is this thing in in Nash from uh, the Wolfpack days. Uh, so you see uh, this is what the tag team cards look like. Sorry again. Sorry about the glare there, guys. Uh, um, so you also included in my set, uh, he gave me some extra cards too, uh, which I'm very thankful he did that because that's going to really help me with my, my federation. Um, but you also included like this set, like, so Telly Blanchard, uh, right there. Sorry about the glare guys. Um, and then you know, we got Arnie Anderson. There's a Ric Flair in there somewhere too, but which is cool because I'll have the whole, I'll have all the Horsemen, which is nice. I can do kind of like a feud with like, you know, the NWO or something like that. Um, he also includes like you know extra tag teams for me. Um, so I get like you know the like the Steiner brothers. That's pretty cool to have. Um, Doom. If you're a wrestling fan, WCW wrestling fan of, of the early '90s. I think 1990s is Butch Reed and uh, Ron Simmons. Uh, they were like they dominated the tag team scene in WCW in like 1990. They were like the tag team champions for like several months. Uh, also, another cool tag team. I don't know. They didn't really have much success, but uh, Power Power and Glory. The only thing I'm disappointed that I wish I had was was the Legion of Doom, Word Wars, or the Rock and Roll Express. That would be kind of cool. Um, so the way this game is set up, uh, or the way this game is, uh, and I, I haven't played a game yet, but I'm kind of like reading the rules. The rules are very like, there's a lot to the grass. Uh, what, one dis disappointing thing about the game is that it took a while to get, get here. I understand uh, with the postal office, you know, you, you know, the mail, like everything's like, you know, with the pandemic and uh, everything's backed up. So I can understand that. Um, but when I, when I finally got the package, he left out the uh the holds cards um one of the most important things to to, to play the game uh, without the holds cards you can't you can't play the, that's like the the mechanic that's how you play the game 
And I was kind of disappointed. So like the next day, like I thought I was like reading, I was going through everything. It's like, did, did I miss something? And I, I, I emailed him and I'm, I mean, uh, he got back to me pretty quick and he sent me a PDF of, of, of what they are and he's going to like mail them out to me. But I was kind of disappointed and it made me not want to probably, I might think twice before ordering from Downey Games again, just for that, because I, I, I don't understand how you can leave that out of the game when you're packing up the game for someone, like leave out, leave out one of the most, com most important components of the game. So, so I couldn't couldn't play it. Like I had to like wait and then you know wait. Like I'm still waiting for for them to send out the cards. So I had to like get them printed at um at uh, at Staples because I you know I wanted to start playing. Uh, so I got them printed. I probably got them printed better than how he's gonna send them to me. But uh, these are what the holds cards look like. Uh, so you see right there. So each like is is an example. Um, here you see like a wrestler on here. Each wrestler has like a I guess a quality. Like this is Hulk Hogan, so he has like pl um, plotter and brawler. So e each I guess there there is a uh, card that corresponds with with that. So for example, if you want to use Hogan as a brawler, you pick what quality you want to use. You'll use this uh, holds card. So when he's you know, in throughout the game, Hulk Hogan's gonna refer you're gonna when you're playing Hulk Hogan, he's gonna refer to the, these moves. And uh so that. So again, a little, a little disappointed in that. Um so like again, that's making me making me like, I mean, but but again, he did send me the PDFs, which which was nice. So I, I do appreciate that. It just said, you know, you're disappointed, you know, you finally got the game after like a couple weeks. You open it up and you're getting ready to reading through the rules. You're, you're excited to play it, and then you you look and you're like, oh, something's missing, and and you're, you you can't play it. And you're just like disappointed, and so uh, yeah. Uh, another thing about the game, there's not enough like uh, specialty matches. You could do cage matches. Uh, so there's like some like in the cards here. There's like information about doing like a cage. Like you can see on the top, there's like cave, that cage, brawler cage. So you can have cage matches. Uh, I'm just disappointed because I wish there was more different types of matches that you can do, like like a battle royal, or maybe a royal rumble, or you know a, a ladder match or or something. I just you know maybe there's something that you can do. You can incorporate that. Maybe there's a, there's a different set because I'm I'm new to this game, so I'm not sure. Maybe there's something you could figure out that you can do. Um, the, the one thing good about Thissinger games is you can kind of like come up with your own charts if you're if you're creative, and you can you can do that. But definitely looking forward to you know um, playing this game. It's gonna, it's gonna be really cool, and I'll uh, I'll post uh, more about it you know in a future video.